Earth is the planet that is home to life as we know it, a place for human civilization that has evolved millions of years ago. Until now, humans have created and developed various technologies to support life. However, behind the beauty and technological advances that we enjoy today, there is an inevitable story hidden. Earth's journey is not only about advancing technology, but also facing various disasters that test the limits of the planet's endurance. What will happen to the Earth in the future? How will the Earth look like in 1,000 or 1 million or even 1 billion years from now? Will the Earth be able to survive from the red supergiant star? In 10 years, technological progress will develop rapidly. Electric vehicles and other transportation-related technologies will continue to evolve with efforts to reduce environmental impact and increase energy efficiency. 5G networks will spread more widely and become more stable, opening the door for more advanced applications and technologies. Space exploration will also develop. Most likely, there will be the first human to set foot on the planet Mars. In 100 years, the effects of global warming will become more pronounced as global average temperatures increase. Climate change will lead to more extreme weather, such as more frequent heat waves, floods, and more severe storms. Advances in space technology may have allowed humans to start settlements in outer space, such as on the Moon or Mars. Technology and science will continue to grow rapidly. There may be breakthroughs in fields such as artificial intelligence, renewable energy, nanotechnology, and health which significantly impact the way we live. In 1,000 years, humans may have experienced tremendous technological advances. Humans may begin to venture beyond the solar system in search of signs of life. Technological advances we may have used to modify our own bodies. You will definitely find cyborg passing by around you. In the next 10,000 years, the polar ice caps will melt due to significant global warming. As a result of melting polar ice, the average sea level will rise, which will make some coastal areas sink. Global warming will also affect environmental ecosystem changes. Maybe in the future, some of the animals and plants that exist today will never be seen again. In 100,000 years, the Earth may have undergone major ecological changes, climate shifts, volcanic activity, Changes in plate tectonics and other natural processes can cause profound changes in Earth's ecosystems and landscapes. The process of evolution will continue over this very long period of time. Many new species may have appeared and other species gone extinct, resulting in a different biodiversity than the present. Humans have also explored other planets outside the solar system and started to build civilizations there. During this time, the constellations we now see in the sky will begin to change due to the movement of the stars. In one million years, in this very long period of time, shifts in tectonic plates will continue to occur, resulting in changes in topography and climatic conditions on Earth. Tectonic activity will also increase how many volcanic eruptions will also increase the content of sulfur gas in the air, making the Earth's air no longer fit to breathe. Then. In the far reaches of the solar system, a red dwarf star begins to enter the Oort cloud which will push thousands of comets out of their way. This comet is likely to bombard the Earth. 10 million years later, active volcanoes continue to erupt, rendering the Earth's environment uninhabitable. The condition was exacerbated by an asteroid that hit the Earth from outer space. If not immediately anticipated, these asteroids will destroy the Earth. In 100 million years, the sun will continue to evolve. The sun will become brighter and hotter, affecting conditions in our solar system. On the other hand, in this time, it is likely that humans will meet other forms of life besides those currently known. Maybe we will cooperate with them or prepare for war. In 250 million years, all the continents on Earth will unite to form a supercontinent which will be called Proxima Pangaea. This is caused by the Earth's plates shifting intensely for a very long time. This condition will be the same as the Earth 250 million years ago 
where all the land on Earth was united. In a billion years, as the Sun ages, the energy in its core is depleted. This causes the Sun to heat up and causes more intense solar radiation at the Earth's surface. Until finally, in two billion years, due to rising surface temperatures, seawater began to evaporate on a large scale. This causes the loss of most of the water from the Earth's surface, drying up large areas and reducing the amount of water that can be used by life. Life would literally become extinct within this time if water disappeared from the Earth. In about three to four billion years, we will see a spectacular show, the merging of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. This collision will form a super galaxy called Milkdromeda. When the galaxy merger process occurs, the structure of the Milky Way and Andromeda will interact and undergo major changes. However, the distances between individual stars within galaxies are so great that the probability of a direct collision between the stars themselves is very low. This will be the only entertainment that can be seen if there are still humans living on Earth. However, the Earth cannot last long. In five billion years, the Sun will reach the final stage of its evolution, a red supergiant. The Sun has used up almost all of its nuclear fuel in its core and is about to enter the red giant phase. At that time, the Sun will expand to a large size and release more energy. When the Sun becomes a red giant, it will expand until it reaches Earth's current orbit. The Earth would be directly exposed to the rapidly expanding atmosphere and eventually disintegrate due to the unbearable heat. In the next 5 billion years, it is very likely that the Earth will be destroyed or even lost in the Sun. Humanity has long moved and built civilizations on planets in other star systems. Even so, the Earth will be the only beautiful place to be remembered. The place where life currently resides, the place where we feel sorrow and happiness, a place where we can share affection with everyone we love. Until the time comes, we must protect and care for the Earth, the only place to live for everyone.